guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is ronnie um we're gonna do something a little different in today's video i'm actually going to make custom made press on nails but on top of that we're also going to be reviewing some of born pretty's um new nail polishes i can't wait to get into this because i've been wanting to do something like this for a very very long time so let's see how this turns out <laughs> So for starters, the packaging came a little uh, different, a little bit more narrow, a little bit more slim. And that is because they sent me smaller nail polish bottles. But anyway, they sent me, like always, six shades. So these are numbered one through five, and this is shade one. It's a jelly collection. Super, super pretty colors, very vibrant. Perfect for summer, and I'm such a pink girl, so i'm so excited to use them i'm so sorry sometimes i'm like out of centered shade five super cute sorry this is shade five. Oh my gosh look at that vibrant color and then shade six and this is perfect for like a base so i'm going to start off by buffing off the top of the nail by the way, I am using Una Gel. I really like this brand and they have been pretty good with me. They don't break, they can last long and if you wanna make them thicker, you can always apply Builder Gel. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here because you want this these custom press on nails to actually last us a very long time. We want them to be reusable. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start off by buffing the surface of the nail. I usually do this part with a buffer, but because I ran out of buffers, we're just gonna use my eval. I'm going to use like a very, very soft drill bit. And we're just gonna lightly buff the surface. Yeah, lightly. <laughs> Incredibly difficult for me to try and file or buff the surface of the nail while filming but anyway I'm gonna take a uh, hand file now and just very softly reshape the nail tip just because I kind of over filed the sides with the e-file a little bit so we're just gonna fix that <laughs> like how I caused a little bit of damage in the little corner right here with the e-file. Yeah. So like I said, I've been looking at inspiration at some of these summer nails and I've been really liking the concept of pink nails for summer. Like, I mean, look at that with the 3D flowers and everything. I really want to incorporate something like this, as well as a whole chrome nail with texture on the pinky, but make that pink. And maybe some aura nails, I do not know. I'm still kind of like brainstorming but I'm really, really intrigued with this whole gold chrome situation. And I'm gonna show you, I really want to also incorporate like the blooming effect as well. But yeah, these are all like my nail inspo ideas and let's try and conquer, shall we? So I think I'm gonna start off with this first and I'm gonna use um, the pink chrome. So to be able to add the texture, I'm going to use a very long, whatever this is called, art brush, nail art brush and builder gel. 
and I'm just going to dip my thing into builder gel and just kind of drag the situation around you know what I'm saying I feel like this is going to take me forever to do Okay, so now that it's cure, I want to emphasize those line a little bit more, give it the more of that 3D situation vibes going on. And I will say that you kind of do have to move quick when curing this because it will settle down and it'll kind of make it look like the lines weren't there before. So just be mindful of that. Perfect, now I'm gonna cure. And so you just keep adding texture if you feel like it's needed. I'm gonna keep building it up until I'm satisfied and then I'll come back and check in on you guys. Okay, so now that it's cure, I'm gonna go in with a shade number eight in these uh, chrome powders. I will link it down for you, below for you guys. And a little like, whatever this is called, I'm gonna dip in and just start rubbing. Okay, we give it a quick little dust. While that is curing, I'm gonna go in with my index finger and I'm gonna use the shade six as my base. Okay, for my index, I'm going to go in with the shade number one. And as you have seen my other videos, this is how I like to do a French tip. I kind of just like to paint the bottom like that. You know what? I'm not liking this. So I don't like this as my base for the colors that I'm picking for this set, so I think that that is the problem as to why I don't like it. I'm gonna try a different color and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. For the index finger, I'm gonna go in with the shade two and I'm also gonna use um, a stamper. So I'm gonna try and create a aura effect by just doing this. Like I'm gonna add a little bit of nail polish in the middle not too much, just a little bit. And then in the middle of the nail, I'm just kind of going to massage it all over. Oh, yeah. I love this. Okay. Just kind of massage it all over until it's nicely diffused to where I want it to be. Once I feel like, oh, you know what? I can see the, the aura effect. I'm going to stop. I'm gonna grab a little brush and kind of clean around the area, kind of just, you know, softly with the tip of the bristle, just kind of ovaling it. And I don't want to lose the shape, but I do want to clean up them harsh corners. And voila, here's your little aura. Okay, so now that I'm happy with it, I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. By the way, for the base, I use Born Pretty JR01. I know it's a little beat up, I'm sorry. I use it that much, I love it. It's like the perfect shade for your color base. And I did that for all the rest of the fingers as well. So if you want, you can do a second coat of that pink again. And just using the stamp, diffusing it a little bit as you go to kind of make the color a little bit more opaque, you can. While that is being cured, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the next finger, which is my middle finger. I'm going to use a booming gel for this. I am using the Born Pretty Watercolor and Nail Gel. So I'm gonna be very generous with this uh, blooming gel so that I can get the effect that I'm looking for. To create this effect, I'm gonna use the shade of one. I'm gonna use a dotting tool like this to be able to create my design. I'm gonna do like a small dot here, small, bigger dot here. 
a way bigger dot here. Bigger dot here. Move it around a little bit. Smaller. 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 Okay, I'm going to try and drag it down a little bit. Okay, let's cure it before it keeps spreading. Let's cure it up. Okay, going back to that index finger, I'm gonna go ahead and use the art brush. I'm just gonna trace around the little aura effect that we created. Just add like a little border. Doesn't have to be perfect because as much texture as you can add, the better. Wavier, uneven lines, thinner on one side, bigger on the other. 10 times better. Okay, now that that's cured, I'm gonna go in with a gold chrome powder and just kinda buff that around the top. So once that's set, you're gonna go ahead and want to trace around that area one more time, just on the part that's already sticking out, right at the border with some top coat to seal it. So now it should look a bit like this, a huge mess. But no fret, you'll get a little cotton and some acetone and just kind of wipe the excess away of the chrome powder. Make sure that you're being very thorough, that you're scrubbing in the crevices of the areas that you don't want the chrome in. And it should go away. See how that cleaned up really quick? Beautiful. And then you just top coat. Okay, and so now just for funsies, I'm just going to add like a little pearl in the corner in here to make it look a little bit cuter, you know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? Okay, and so for my index finger and thumb, I'm just going to do a French tip using the same color we used before with a chrome star. Okay, now that my French is looking the way that I want it, which is so cute. Then we're gonna go in with some clear coat, put a little dot right at the tip right there with the art brush. I'm gonna try and do like little lines like that. I'm gonna get off camera so I can be able to focus and do it properly and then I'll be right back. So scratch that, that didn't work out. I ended up having to mix the pigment with the top coat so that I can like draw, manually draw the stars. And this is how it turned out. So let me show you the final result. Mm -hmm. 